Hey guys, today I'm doing a tutorial on this makeup look right here. I wanted to create a more soft, but very, very glowy glam summer makeup tutorial. Summer is right around the corner. In Holland right now, it's blazing hot. So that inspired me to come up with a look that is softer and wearable, but still has a couple of fun twists. Basically, I just had so much fun with this because usually when people ask me to do something more wearable or natural, I go, oh, yeah. Really, why? But today I actually came up with a more wearable look for summer that has a couple of twists and turns, but still very interesting and fun to learn. So yeah, if you would like to know how to get this glowy, luminous summer makeup look, then keep on watching. All right, first thing we're gonna do is hydrate and moisturize this dry ass face. I'm gonna go in with my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer and after spray douse, Soak myself with Mario Badescu rose water spray. Know those people that can really attractively put moisturizer on their faces? Yeah, I'm not one of them. All right, just let your skin soak that up and then we're ready for foundation. For foundation today, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea water-based foundation. And I like this one especially because this one gives great coverage, but it still looks like, like genuine, authentic skin. And then in areas where I wanna be a little bit more secure and have a little bit more coverage, I'm gonna apply my Ultra HD Foundation Stick by Makeup Forever in 117. So this mixture right here is gonna give me luminous summer skin. So I'm applying the stick right here on my cheeks because they get a little bit red. Also on my chin center of forehead and nose. And then the chart I'm gonna mix in between. So just with my beauty blender, I'm gonna dot it around. And then now let's buff it all in. So see how it absolutely covers everything this way, but it's still a very thin layer because it's water-based. So you get the best parts of everything. You get full coverage, but you still have skin. For concealer, I'm gonna do a little bit of mixing again. I'm gonna apply the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics underneath my eyes. And to highlight and bring back features in my face, I'm gonna take the Rainforest of the Sea Concealer, and this is in the color Fair. And again, you know it. I'm gonna set my under eyes using the NARS loose powder in snow. Of course you want this look to last all day long in a hot summer day. So I'm gonna wear the MAC Soft Darker Paint Pot to keep my makeup on all day long. And for this I'm using a Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush. Taking the Morphe 35O All Matte Palette and taking the lightest color from that and setting my brow bone and crease with this. And make sure you really get those inner corners here as well to really get that fresh, gorgeous feel. But leave this right here below the arch of your brow free because we're gonna apply shimmer there. For the brow bone highlight, I'm gonna take the Morphe 35O All Shimmer Palette and taking the lightest color from that. And using a Luxie 211 brush for this. For the crease, I'm hopping back over to the 35OM palette and taking these colors right here. And for this, I'll be using a Morphe M504 brush. All right, going back to the 35OS palette and taking this gorgeous peachy shimmery color, goddessy color right here, and using a MAC 242, just applying this all over the lid. Come on. 
to glow up the inner corners, I'm gonna take this Inglot Pigment in number 75. And with a damp Luxie 217 brush, I'm just gonna glow up the inner corners. For the lower lash line, I'm gonna take this color right here from the Morphe 35O All Matte Palette. And with a Cosette D230 brush, I'm first gonna lay down a base. And then once you reach the center, I'm gonna go in with an angled brush and create a new inner corner. And then in that space in between, I'm gonna apply that same Inglot pigment. All right, all you wanna do now to finish is apply some lashes, and these are by Glossy Makeup, and these are called Chelsea. Now on this hot summer day, we might lose a pound of sweat, but we still wanna exaggerate that. We wanna look sculpted and, and like ready to, you know, it just I, I just wanna look sculpted. So I'm gonna go in with the Kevin Aucoin Medium Sculpting Powder and my favorite contouring brush, the Morphe M530, and I'm gonna contour with that. If you're not a contour lover, by all means, skip this, keep it fresh, but mama's gotta sculpt. And then hopping over to my 140 brush by Zoeva and a tiny bit of that contouring powder as well. And really, like really exaggerating the hollowness. Hollowness. And then with your face powder underneath, you can clean it up and make it look even more. I'm also gonna do a little bit of bronzing. I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX Bronzer in Sunkissed and my Cosette number one brush. And I'm gonna dust this lightly around the hairline, lightly. And also a little bit over that contour, almost kind of as a blush. A little bit on the chin and on the nose. For blush, I'm gonna use this MAC blush in What I Fancy, and my new favorite blush brush. I know the Cosette number no. two brush is amazing for blush, but I feel like it almost kind of lifts the foundation and powder and kind of leaves holes in your base. And this brush, this one by Morphe, this is the M509 brush. This just glides blush on like a dream, so this is, is happening. This brush is just so feather soft. It just glides that blush on without disturbing the base. I love it. All right, time to glow. And I wanted this look to be all about the glow. So we have really flirty eyes, beautiful skin, but I want a glow. I want this glow to be like when you're on the beach and you're wearing this glow, I want people to think that your glow is the sun. Your glow is stronger than the sun. And in order to do that, I have a trick. We're gonna spray our face with a setting spray. And by the time it's almost dry, but still a little bit damp, that's when you wanna apply your highlighter. It's the same as with eyeshadow, when you use a damp brush, it will go on so much more intense. Same goes for highlighter. So if you use, so we're gonna spray our face and then wait for it to be almost dry, the perfect amount of dampness, and then we apply our highlighter and it's really gonna And for this, I'm gonna use Moonstone by Becca. And the setting spray I'll be using is by Urban Decay, and this is the All Nighter, and give it a shake. So we're gonna do one half, one half. All right, almost dry. Bam. Can we take a seat? Can we? take a seat. Not only will that make your glow last longer, it will do this, which is amazing. Almost. Mother of holy highlighters. I'm sorry if you're watching this video with your parents in the room, they'll probably think you're watching porn. Ugh. Okay, tip of the nose. Let's not forget. And we don't need a damp face for this. 
because the highlight on the nose is strong enough as it is. And of course, Cupid's bow. All right, time for lips. All right, now for this look, I feel like you can go with whatever you want for lips. You can go bright, dark, nude, matte, glossy, whatever is in between. You can do whatever you want. Now, I personally feel like this look is so much about the skin and about those flirty eyes. I wanna apply nude, glossy lips just to keep it very sexual and summerish and just that. So I'm lightly gonna outline my lips using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF. And then with a tiny brush, I'm actually gonna diffuse the center of the lip liner. See what a lovely like pout that gives by diffusing the center here, by diffusing it just a little bit up, it really gives you that J-Lo like <laughs> without the sound. <laughs> okay, for lips, I'm first going in with Melt Cosmetics Sext, just to kind of fill everything in. over that lip liner. All right, I need a little bit more warmth in this lip, so I'm gonna go in with Kinda Sexy by MAC, I'm just tapping over top. And then finally, as a gloss, I'm gonna use this Cream Sheen Glass by MAC, and this is in the color Fashion Scoop. And that, guys, concludes this sexy, summer, glam, ultimate glam, glowy, luminous makeup tutorial look shebang bang. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used, you can always go to my description box below, plus to my blog, NikiTutorials.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, that all is Nikki Tutorials. Plus, I now have a second Instagram account called Power of Makeup, at Power of Makeup. And on the Power of Makeup, I share with you my favorite artist, looks that inspire me, but most of all, I created this page for others to get inspired by the love for makeup, because I feel like there's still too much makeup shaming going around, and makeup shaming is not allowed on that page. You makeup shame once and you're blocked. So if you want, it would mean the world to me if you could follow at Power of Makeup on Instagram and let's make it a super fun and makeup loving community. As always, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you so much for watching again and hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. Hey guys, today I'm gonna do a tutorial inspired by Queen Bee Beyonce's Lemonade, and I'm not really doing a look inspired by Beyonce. I'm more so doing a look to inspire you to wear to the formation tour.